Hi, this is Abdul Bharti, and we are here at the Oracle Open World and Oracle Code One Conference. And today we have with us Graham Rocher, uh, founder of Grills and Micronaut. So, first of all, tell us a bit about what are you doing at the Groundbreakers here? Well, I got uh, had the privilege of being honored with an award um, from the folks at Oracle Groundbreakers for uh, the work I have contributed to Grails over the years, which is fantastic to receive such recognition, especially being amongst such uh, esteemed company. And what is Grails and what is Microsoft? Let's talk about, you know, one by one. So Grails is a rapid application development framework for the JVM for Java, uh, based on the Groovy language. And uh, it's highly optimized at creating uh, traditional kind of CRUD uh, applications, create, read, update, delete, uh, applications uh, for the web using traditional server-side deployment models, uh, deploying to WAR files, to servlet containers, and so forth. Uh, it's been immensely popular and, uh, you know, one of the more popular Java frameworks over the last 10 years, uh, in particular amongst the Groovy community, uh, being based on the Groovy language, and uh, has provided a real productivity boost for those folks over the years. And what is Micronaut? So Micronaut is a brand new framework, uh, whilst Grails is 10 years old um, now. Micronaut is a new framework that's been created to address the microservices space. Um, so rather than trying to adapt Grails uh, to what it was not really designed to do, uh, we decided to go back to the drawing board and rebuild a framework that particularly targeted at solving the microservice problems, whether that be distributed configuration, service discovery, client-side load balancing, low memory footprint execution, um, all those microservices challenge that providing the same kind of productivity benefits that you get with Grails, but for the microservice space. So is, is, is it that Micronaut is a successor of uh, Grails, or there are two totally different projects doing different? Uh, not really. It's, it's Grails is, will continue to have its place in terms of uh, building traditional applications that you deploy to a servlet environment. Um, Micronaut is really a reimagining of what a mi microservice framework should be. Uh, microservice workloads and serverless functions, for example, um, require really a different set of characteristics in terms of ultra-fast startup time, low memory footprint, and so on. And what Micronaut does is, instead of uh, doing a lot of the computation of the, of the framework infrastructure at runtime, it pre pre-computes everything using a head of time compilation through uh, the use of Java annotation processes uh, and creates like a reflection-free model uh, when running your application. And the result of that is instead of requiring hundreds of megabytes of memory to run a Micronaut application, it only it requires tens of megabytes. Um, and, you know, for serverless functions which are paid for, for execution or um, uh, or by memory consumption, that provides a real boon because you know traditionally Java applications have consumed historically a lot of memory. Frameworks designed for Java have all, have all primarily been designed around the use of runtime reflection, analysis of annotations, and all of those features in Java, while whilst convenient, they have a cost in terms of memory consumption, startup time, and so forth. And Micronaut attempts to eliminate all of those providing you with the ability to build efficient microservices uh, for the JVM, uh, while still maintaining a lot of the pro productivity features that you get in frameworks like Spring Boot or, or, or Grails. And who, who is using uh, Micronauts? Right now, uh, we've just released 1.0. Uh, so 1.0, in fact, in fact, launched at the conference. And we're, we're uh, executing pilot programs with uh, customers at OCI. Uh, who are building microservice applications with us in pilot programs of, of, with Micronaut. And we anticipate with 1.0 being out and the first stable release being out, that adoption amongst uh, organizations will accelerate. Um, we have a number of customers already using it in production. Um, I cannot elaborate on those, obviously, in this interview, but absolutely, we anticipate adoption accelerating in the next. You have also commercialized these two product projects. Mm -hmm. so. Can you tell us a bit about the company OCI? It's a full service uh, organization based in St. Louis. Uh, so uh, for the, specifically for the Grails and Micronaut communities, 
uh, we provide training, um, training uh, on consultancy services, uh, project kickstart services. So if you're looking to start off with using either Grails or Micronaut, we can come on board uh, on site and help you at the ramp up phase of the project um, and, and implement, implementing a successful project. Uh, whether that be, be through training or direct on-site consulting. Now let's talk about uh, the trends that are happening in the market. Uh, microservices, or market service architecture is becoming popular. Then we are, you know, serverless is becoming. All these new buzzwords are coming. Yeah. In. So where does Micronaut? You already talked about that, but where does it actually fit in the cloud? You know, if a company is embarking on their cloud native journey, yeah. How does that help them? It's really at the application development. Um, uh, point in terms of productivity tools that Micronaut is uh, an interesting uh, option for organizations. Uh, in particular, in the serverless space, uh, because of the low memory footprint, the fast startup time that you have in a typical Micronaut application, and also the ability, uh, because Micronaut is all compilation time based using a ahead of time compilation, it provides out of the box support for things like Graal VM, which allows computing your application down to a native image. All of these um, aspects make it fit really nicely in the serverless model where, where you, where, for example, in a serverless model, you, the a long running application is not gonna benefit from the JIT, just in time compilation or the JVM because the application comes up and goes away and comes up and goes away. So in that sense, it's much more important to have fast startup time, low memory footprint, and Micronaut provides a model for building functions that you can deploy to AWS Lambda or Azure, Azure uh, function service or OpenFAS or Project FN um, using, uh, just by packaging your Micronaut function as a container. And because of the, the nature of the use of compile time DI, compile time AOP, compile time dependency injection, that is, um, everything is computed ahead of time, which makes the execution of the function far faster uh, than your traditional frameworks, would that be uh, Jakarta E or Spring. So, so let's let's talk about you quickly. Uh, what do you do in your free time to have you know, just fun, not dealing with technology? Uh, I mean, obviously I'm passionate about technology, but everybody needs uh, you know, a personal social life. Uh, uh, there's a number of things I enjoy. The uh, winter is coming up, so that means skiing, mountains, uh, Big interest of mine is uh, heading down some slope. I, will, um, I happen to live uh, very close to uh, the Pyrenees Mountains, so looking forward to hit the slopes this year for the skiing season. Uh, in summer, whether that be other activities like paddle boarding and so forth, um, I enjoy. Uh, definitely the outdoors. Uh, a work-life balance is critical to a healthy mind, I think. So whatever you can do to keep yourself healthy um, is uh, good in my book. Oh, that's cool, yeah. Uh, thank you so much for talking to me today, and you know, hopefully we'll see you again. Thank you. Thanks so much.